I'm doing a hands-free playthrough of the game Slay the Spire using the free Talon project. I will be moving the mouse with eye tracking and clicking with either a hiss or a pop sound. much gold. So I'm skipping the shop for now. For the most part, I'm able to pick my targets without actually using the head tracking, but as I look around, the eye tracking dumps the mouse in a spot, and then the head tracking can do relative movement, like this. So as I'm attacking here, I'm actually just using the eye tracking. block card. Actually the bash because it's expensive. This is totally worth it. Mostly full health, so I'm going to smith. This card is really good. It gives you extra power, which is used to spend... Uh, which you have to spend to play most cards. This is a mini boss. I think they're called elites. This one sleeps for a bit and has a lot of armor. Thank you. 
This doesn't actually look super good for me. He's gonna do about half my health with this hit. Seven, that's only half. And I'm weakened, so my defense is down right now. This is bad. Alright, now I can kill him with a fire potion if I have to, because it does 20 damage. Yeah, might as well. That's nice, it causes it to give me a little extra damage. Rampage is sweet. It's a card that every time it comes around it gets better. actually use this. I don't have enough in my hand because of that. So for these guys, I usually kill one on the left first because they alternate the middle one attacking versus the side one attacking. And the two attack when the side one attacks. I might actually still die here. Doesn't look good. So here's the rampage again. Two HP after this. It's way too close. I got lucky. Rampage finishes it off. Alright, every three car or three attacks I get a dexterity with Kunai. <laughs> the top is awesome. It draws a card every time I empty my hand. Combos really well with zero cost cards or cards that reduce your power draw or whatever. I'm actually going to get to use this un er, unceasing top this round. 
So I have six power. So the hiss is like a click and drag and the pop just clicks once. I can actually kill the one on the right instead of taking damage because I can't actually block all his damage. Oh, that was really lucky. I got something that gave me extra energy for free. This game's a bit jittery as far as eye tracking goes. I believe because the game has a dark background, so it actually makes it harder for the eye tracker to see me. So the light coming from the screen isn't as bright. Is fun. He shifts modes every 30 damage or so. If I can do enough damage to him, he actually won't attack me with 32. Which would have hurt a lot anyway. There we go. This bottom right corner isn't working super well right now.
This will actually morph him. He only has three left on his sharp hide. Oh no. No, that's not the mode change yet. That's just how much damage he does to me when I attack him. Here, I have to do 40 damage, 34 now. This is going to be a close one. Alright, that's all for now. Check out more videos later.